remember that they're changing my voice. Now there's a bunch of racist LGBT people, especially gay people, that work in mental health. And they think that the answer to the most righteous person trying to actually make change in society is to change my voice and try to make it so I seem bipolar or gay or nerdy or whitewashed or Jewish washed. It is profoundly disgraceful. When I look at how there's no romance these days, no true romance, when I look at how they've remastered the way people look, Martin Luther King, okay, Michael Jordan, old videos, how they've changed music on YouTube, I mean, there is, there's millions of videos that they've used AI and programs on their various sites and completely betrayed their users um, to promote a kind of surreal, racist, white, sub Jewish, and LGBT supremacist agenda. These people do not believe in moral supremacy. I see, I see nerds dating the closest thing to attractive females. Okay, guys who just conformed, they're nerdy, and they have accepted the sort of Ronald McDonald jack-in-a-box look. You see people looking very, very, very immature these days. They were raised wrong, with the wrong values, and conservative values, first and foremost, are the wrong values because they're the foundation of the liberal failure. These people change my voice and fume and poison me, okay? And every day, they can't correct their mistake. And then them and their children engage in extremely immature relationships and the accompanying sexual activities. It is like Pee Wee Herman, you know, having sex with Cindy Crawford, you know, a supermodel from back in the day, mixed with, you know, Ronald McDonald. Okay, and that's what they call the normal relationship. And then there's these conservatives who just remind you of why this happened. All those white supremacists who stop at nothing to try to make other races seem inferior all throughout history. All the Eurocentric uh, uh, science that was back in the day that they had to correct. And these people have the nerve to turn around and to say, trust science. After a long history of extremely racist, racist Western science. Hitler was inspired by the UK and America. And before they put Jews in camps, there was many Israelis, okay? People from the Jewish community that would eventually become Israelis. I'm sure some were already living in Israel at the time. Back then it was a very different place. And they praise the eugenicists because they, just like with colonialism, you know, colonialism, they wanted the Jewish people to be right there with the whites and the rich oppressors um, doing eugenics on people. And that's what's going on now. As they're doing eugenics, their social Darwinism, their scientific racism, as they're doing eugenics on people, they're subtly and otherwise pretending to be ideal. I saw this one magazine where it said the ideal woman was what basically looked like a modern day corporate whore. And it went as far as to say she's Jewish. And they said they did a poll. They did a poll with a bunch of crypto Jews and Jews, apparently. Okay, because what are the odds that in a poll, most people would say that the ideal and perfect modern woman magically is Jewish? What are the odds that the average Americans would have voted for that. It is a very racist, lying society. And that's what passes for science these days. It was a sociological poll, if you will. It was a scientific poll, according to them. That racist, white, Jewish, and LGBT. And they have the nerve to fume and poison me, which changed how I look to some degree. But you can still tell that I'm not a crypto Jew. I don't have their body shape. They've done a lot to confuse that more than you would believe. But you know that I'm not one of them. I will never, ever, ever, ever be 
in the racist, white Jew, and LGBT spirits and cultures that dominate society. They are so damn evil, there is no words for it. Black people have been through so much, even before uh, uh, the transatlantic slave trade, dealing with these sick types of people, not necessarily whole races, who would come into Africa and steal women, and we, we chopped them down, we beat them down, we stomped them out, we killed them. And they, were, they would flee tail tucked. And they kept scrambling to come up with new technologies in order to colonize Africa. They didn't want to see people like me man to man. They did not. Because righteousness is greater than being some kind of settler worm that steals women and pretends to have decent relationships. That is disgusting. That breeds people behind the scenes and to this day it continues with the human trafficking. There's no words for how much I'm disgusted at these racist Greco-Roman, neo-Greco-Roman societies, these racist social clubs and secret societies they change the way i look in my videos in my pictures they change my voice try to make it so i sound crazy mentally ill nerdy whitewashed so that they can feel superior as their policies cause nine million people to starve to death every year countless males females and children to be raped and abused, their cultures, their policies, their way of thinking, government, meant meaning mind, as in the word mental, the mentality of the governing class and the cultures and the mentalities they insist on are pure evil. And they have cost the world so much. The thought that they would pray to God to be forgiven makes my stomach turn. Like the Bible says, the prayers of the wicked are detestable to God Almighty. God rejects your prayers. God rejects your offspring. God rejects your complaints. God rejects your nations. God rejects your marriages. And everything else you stand for. 